So hi everybody, so we're back on the caravan build and recap on yesterday's, we've got the shower train, we've got the shower boards in, we've got the tank hung underneath and the shower drain is now connected to the tank. So now for the fun part, to install all the rest of it. So from the tank, um, so to get the water from the tank through the heater, we're first gonna go through a spin down filter and once we've gone through a spin down filter, it comes out of the spin down filter and into uh, the little pre-filter, which is on the water pump. So there you go, that is the pre-filter on the shore flow pump. So it goes through there, water gets pumped then through out and out here. Um, we're using the shore flow. It's 12 volt, it's a 4.5 amps max and the flow is 1.8 gallons. Now, I had a little bit of a problem yesterday now trying to get the fittings to go into the pre-filter let me show you the pre-filter right so that is a spin down filter or pre-filter there's an arrow to tell you which way the water goes clamp to mount it and the clamp to do the glass bit right yesterday i was having trouble getting the fittings to go onto the spin down filter and also onto the um, water filters. Let me get the water filters for you and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so these are the filters we're using by Aqua Filter. I'm not sure if we've got the right filters as yet. I need to check those. But everything's so hard to get hold of at the moment. And I mean really hard to get hold of stuff. Now I was struggling to find fittings to fit on the end of that, which is a half inch BSP. And also into there, half inch male BSP to go in there. So I've been having some real trouble getting hold of fittings, half inch fittings for these, the female and the female BSP to hose tails. So I ended up using these the males and um, they're a little bit bigger they're 15 mil um, but they work what I've done was heated the hose up with a bit of hot water which softened it up a little bit and then it went on there fine so that's just my little test piece just to make sure now the females have arrived in today, but getting fittings, getting anything at the moment is really difficult. Um, especially as this is, I'm under pressure to get this finished by Van Eats, which you may not get this video till after Van Eats, but to me Van Eats, well put it this way, today is Wednesday for me. Um, it's not this weekend, but it's the following weekend. This shower's got to be working by that day. Anyway, so that's why I was struggling. Um, so I've got to get these BSP fittings into the um, filters now so you can watch me do that um, I always use the white tape as well to reduce the risk of le uh, leaks So now I've got to find a way of fitting this into the van. And I was going to put it on a pull out, um, like a drawer slider. And that might be the final solution, but for now, just so I can get this working, we're going to get it hung in there. So right, so good old Amazon have delivered. So now we can get on with the rest of the water installation. So what have we had delivered? four female half inch BSP to hose tail which will go on the edge of this on those threads and also on the UV filter chamber threads as well as before I'm going to put some PTFE tape around this
that's the first part done. And that's the UV filter chamber done. Now, just a little bit about these UV filter chambers. All they are really is a stainless steel tube with a glass insert, which the bulb goes into and the water flows in and around it. And the UV light kills all the bacteria. Not much then, but damn, they had a lot of money. Right, as you can see, we're back under the caravan again. And what I've got to do is I've got to get a pipe connected to this tank that comes out and then will feed into the spin down filter which will be inside. So what I'm doing under here is, let me turn you around so you can have a look. Right, so the wastewater comes down through here into the tank and this is where the water is going to be drawn out through this fix in here. So working with what we've got and can get hold of there's like a female to female plastic half inch adapter which will go on here and then a plastic hose tail connector which will go into there. Right, so now I can get my hose off of there, which will run towards you, closer to the back, then up through the floor, and then it will go down and go through to the spin down filter. So first of all, we've got to find a place for the spin down filter. Right, so before we can put <clears throat> that pipe up through the floor and onto that tank, we need to locate where we're going to sit the spin down filter, which is going to be quite low down, and then we're going to go from the spin down filter to the water pump so yeah this is going to get interesting now right i've managed to light up the area down there um hmm plenty of room on the walls for things right so i've got to affix this bracket to the wall for this to slot into Right, so this, by right, should slot into there. So now I've got to get a hose to that side, because it will come out of here, into the pump which will sit here, and then go upwards <coughs> to the filters. There's only, going to, there's only going to be a short bit of pipe between these two. But first I need to go and check underneath to make sure I'm not going to hit anything. And my reference point for underneath will be this wire that goes through the floor. So I need to go along a little bit and then back a bit. Uh, this is going to get interesting. I'm going to do, I'm going to feed the hose up through the floor, you'll see it come through the floor, and then we'll attach it 
to the spin down filter. Now we've got to put the hose clip on. And to make my life easier, Right, to make my life easier getting the, this little bit of pipe on the pump and onto the spin down filter, I've decided to drag the pipe up through and I'm gonna do them outside this side of the shower and then push the pipe back down through the floor. It's all about making my life a bit easier to do things because I'm not the smallest guy and that's a small gap. And I want you to see everything. Right, so that's the spin down filter. There's an arrow there pointing that way showing the water comes in and goes through there so it'll come out of there and then into the pump and the arrows on the bottom of this pump go that way so that will connect to that I'm relying on none of this leaking <laughs> because once it's in there it's gonna be a drum to get it all back out again all right so this so be going that way like so so that needs to face upwards because the pipe will go up I need to put some terminals on here so we can plug some wire into it all right spade terminals are gonna go on there We'll be back to you shortly and I'm back so now to crimp wires on here crimp sorry terminals on here <clears throat> hoping you can see that Right, so what I've done on here, on the red, I've put a red terminal, but I've put the female side of the spade terminal. And on the uh, negative, I've put a blue one, but I've put the male. So they shouldn't be able to be mixed up when you plug in the wires. So back to putting the pipe on there.
Right, so we're connected there. Right, so there you have it. There is the pump in place and the spin down filter. Now what we've got to do from this pump here, we need to come up and into our filter system, which is going to go quite high actually. Um, I think, although I'm not too sure, I might just put it up here. And once we put the filters in, and then we come from there, which will go up to the boiler, which is going to be a lot higher. But I suppose the first thing is, we need to go back underneath, because we now need to connect the red pipe to the tank. So we'll take a Jubilee clip, the knife, and a um, screwdriver underneath. All right, I need to cut that. Right, so we have got a cut. I'm going to feed this hose through the chassis and attach it to there. That is now fixed on there, not coming off. Fixed it from there. Comes down through here. It goes through this chassis rail here. And once it's come through the chassis rail, it feeds up through that floor. And it goes right, I've got to put some screws in here so we can hang the filters up. I've made marks already for two of them. But that's held up by four. One. Two. There's the filters. Right, so what I've got to do now is get a pipe going from there, which goes up into there. Because this is the inside. If you look on top of there, it says in. So there we have the out from the pump going up 
to the in of the filters. Now what we've got to do is um, go from the out of the filters into the in of the, I've got to get this right, the UV filter. Right, okay, so we're back on the shower again today. And I didn't feel much of putting the boiler in here or anything, because you can see how small that space is. I'm not exactly small, so getting my arms, this camera, and a light in there. So I'll explain everything that I've done so far. Right, the pump and the spin down filter are down there. There's the three stage water filter system. There's the UV filter. There's the boiler. And the, bo uh, and the boiler goes from, it goes from the boiler, sorry, and it goes into the back of the shower mix taps. Right, these are designed definitely not to go through this ply and plastic. So I put extended, um, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. I put two of these on the back of the shower and drilled the holes big enough so these fit in nice and tight. And then I've sickle flexed them in here. Just hold it in there nice and tight. And trust me, that sickle flex is not going anywhere. Right, <clears throat> this is the gas feed pipe and that's the cold water pipe. So we're nearly there. All I need to do now is hook up the gas which has got to go down, which will probably come around down here, around here, and it will go down here through the floor, under the van, and it will come up into that spare valve, which is the yellow one, just there. So you can see the pipe coming up through the floor, the spin down filter, to the pump, and it comes up out of the pump, in, to the filter, the three stage filter, out the three stage filter, into the UV filter, out of the UV filter, and up into the boiler. And then once it's heated up, comes out then, comes out into the shower. Now I don't know how much of you that how much of that you actually got, because it's quite dark down there. If it is too dark, I'm gonna to have to retake this and do it again. But if not, hopefully I think you'll get the gist of it. Right, so I fed the gas pipe up through, as you can see just there, that comes up through the floor. I need to cut that, form it into shape, and then um, feed it into the bottom of the boiler. And also I need to fit it on the gas point over there. And what I'm gonna be doing now it's fitting the hose onto here and the rail that hold the shower.
Right, so we put some finishing touches to the shower. Um, we put some sealant up around the top edges. And the reason because of that is this will finally, eventually, get a piece of this Perspex up there as well. So until that's done, we've sealed the top edges. And all the shower itself has been sealed down the bottom. There you go. Um, we've now put up a shower rail, just for now, until we put a front wall in with the door on. And just to let you see, we have also raised this wall because it was very flexible. 